Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss financial stability report, which was recently released in June. Okay. So let's first discuss the highlights of the report, and then we'll be taking some questions based on it to discuss the details mentioned in the report. Okay. So uh, let's discuss. The global economy is facing heightened risk from prolonged geopolitical tensions, elevated public debt, and the slow progress in the last mile of disinflation. Despite these challenges, the global financial system has remained resilient and financial conditions stable. Okay. Next is the Indian economy and the financial system remain robust and resilient, anchored by macroeconomic and financial stability. With improved balance sheets, the banks and financial institutions are supporting economic activity through sustained credit expansion. The capital to risk uh, weighted asset ratio and the common equity tier 1 ratio of scheduled commercial banks stood at 16.8% and 13.9% respectively at end of March 2024. Scheduled commercial banks gross NPA ratio fell to a multi-year low of 2.8% and the net not performing asset ratio to 0.6%. See, these kind of information you should include include in your descriptive answers also okay and you can take the reference from the report itself so you can say in your answers like in fsr june 2024 this was mentioned so it would give more weightage or more momentum to your answer okay next is macro test test for <clears throat> credit risk reversal that scheduled commercial banks would be able to comply with minimum capital requirements with the system level CRAR in March 2025 is projected at this one. So these are the uh, details regarding to the CRAR projections when stress test is applied. Okay. And these stress tests are applied under baseline, medium and severe stress scenarios. Okay. Now next is non-banking financial companies remain healthy with CRAR at 26.6%. GNPA at 4% and net uh, and return on assets at 3.3%. Okay. Now let's discuss some questions based on this report. First question is the, uh, the FSR December 2023 notes that the Indian economy has demonstrated significant resilient resilience in an uncertain global environment. Which of the following statements are true about the economic and financial conditions? Okay. So uh, this one is India. First statement is India remains the fastest growing major economy with a contribution of global growth of 18.5% in 23-24. Second statement is Indian financial system is dominated by banks with consider uh, consistently improving balance sheets, higher provisioning and lower NPA ratios. The Reserve Bank has projected India's real GDP growth to 7.5% in 24 25. See, in this question, first statement and the second statement are correct. And third statement is wrong because this growth has been projected at 7.2%. Okay, that means B is the answer. Okay, now next question. Next question is regarding India's domestic growth and inflation outlook for 24-25, which of the following statements are correct? So MPC has projected real GDP to grow by 7.2% during 24-25. Okay, so if you remember, the last statement was incorrect here and it was 7.2%. That means this statement is correct. Next is headline consumer price index inflation eased to 4.7% in May 2024. As per the report, this statement is also correct. Now next is core inflation excluding food and fuel rose to 5% in May 2024. Now this statement is uh, incorrect because the core inflation was declined or core inflation witness a decline of around 3%. Okay. So it was not a rise 
it is a decline. So it was declined to 3% in May 2024. That means both A and 1 and 2 are correct. B is the correct answer. Okay. Now let's move to third question. Which of the following factors are contributing to the improvement in India's fiscal indicators for 23-24 and 24-25? Okay. So first one is increase in capital expenditure. This is correct because it is a trend shown in the budget also. Next is unprecedented growth in revenue expenditure. See, if this question was this much only, growth in revenue expenditure, this might have been right. But this unprecedented means a growth that has not been seen in the past. So that makes this statement wrong. Third statement is decline in the gross uh, fiscal deficit as a percentage of GDP. So as we are witnessing, our fiscal deficit has decreased to 5.4 uh, to 6.4%, right? Sorry. Uh, our fiscal deficit, yes, our budget budgeted estimate for 23-24 is 5.9%, right? And it was, re it was reduced from 6.4%. So that makes it also correct statement. See, for context also, this growth in revenue expenditure was at 1.2%. So this is a very meager figure, right? Very meager figure. That's why this uh, statement is wrong. That makes C the correct answer. Okay. Now let's move to fourth question. So fourth question is regarding the external sector of India. So first two question is merchandise trade deficit narrowed to 238.3 billion dollars. Okay. So this statement is correct because our trade deficit has narrowed to this figure. This is correct statement. So net inflows of FPI reached the highest level ever at US dollar 44.6 billion. See this statement is wrong because it is not the highest. It is second highest okay so this you need to remember that it is second highest the net fpi in this financial year has been the second highest one and third statement is current account surplus was 0.6 percent of gdp of current market prices so this is also correct that makes one and three correct now next question which of the following statements are correct? The number of retail investors in the equity derivative segment has increased by over 30 lakh from 22-23 to 23-24. See, this is a correct statement. For context, this figure has increased from 65 lakhs to 95.7 lakhs. So, you can see a 30 lakh increase. Okay. That's why this statement is correct. Next is NBFC, uh, public sector undertaking in body corporates were the major issuers of corporate bonds together accounting for nearly one fourth of the total issuances. See, this is again a fact based question. Here in, uh, in place of one fourth, it should be three fourth. Three fourth of total issuances. Okay. Next question, next statement is India's gross savings rate stood at 29.7% of gross national disposable income with households being the primary savers forming 60.9% of aggregate savings. And again, this is statement is correct. That makes one and three correct. Okay. So let's move to next question. Next question is regarding scheduled commercial banks. Uh, so first statement is they witnessed a decline in deposit mobilization during 23-24. So again, this statement is wrong because they witnessed a what? They witnessed an increase in deposit mobilization. Okay. That's why this statement is wrong. Increase, not decline, right? 
second is psb showed the highest reduction in gnpa ratio during this quarter so this is correct next is personal loans contributed to the contributed the least to credit growth among scheduled commercial banks so again this statement is wrong because instead of least they were the highly they were highly significant they were not the least factor that's why this statement is also wrong that makes b the correct answer for this question now moving on to seventh question it is regarding deposit and credit profiles of scheduled commercial banks okay so first statement is growth in current account and savings account deposits decelerated across all banking groups okay so this statement is also wrong because it didn't decelerate there was an acceleration in growth or there was a growth was seen and that growth was accelerated not decelerated okay next is public sector banks recorded the highest growth in credit to the industrial sector again this fact is wrong because this growth in industrial sector was seen from credit given by nbfcs okay so nbfc credit shown uh, showed growth in industry and service sectors industry as well as service sectors next is personal loans accounted for over half of the credit growth in private sector banks this statement is correct that makes c the correct answer okay now let's moving on to next question so it is regarding the capital position of urban cooperative banks okay so first statement is the crar of ucbs increased to 17.5% so this is statement is correct next is credit by primary urban cooperative banks recorded a surge in growth okay so here they are saying surge in growth that they are growing but there should there is a surge so instead of surge there was a dip in growth okay so credit growth saw a dip as uh, we as far as we are concerned with ucbs so their credit growth saw a dip next is improvement in asset quality was witnessed across all tiers so as we know there are four tiers here and here the question is saying improvement is in asset quality is seen across four tiers this statement is also wrong because first tier suffered or their gnpa and npa worsened okay net npa became worse but uh, for rest of the tiers this statement is correct so for rest of the tiers of ucbs they sh they showed or there was uh, asset quality improvement but for tier 1 their asset quality worsened okay that's what this statement is also wrong so a is the correct answer okay. moving on to next question which statement is true regarding the gross npa ratios of ucbs in march 2024 so first is it increased for both uh, scheduled ucbs and uh, non scheduled ucbs as compared to september 2023 so this statement is wrong because for non scheduled ucbs it didn't increase next is it decreased for scheduled ucbs as compared sorry here they increased for both scbs and ucbs so for scbs it showed in decrease and for ncbs also there was a little increase only not that much so this statement is wrong next is it decreased for scb ucbs as compared to march 2023 this statement is right next one there was a marginal uptick in the gnpa ratios for n subs this is also a correct statement 
नेक्स्ट वन इज टीयर वन यूसीबीज शोड सिग्निफिकेंट इंप्रूवमेंट इन जी एन पी ए सो एज वी डिस्कस्ड हियर दैट आउट ऑफ ऑल द फोर टीयर्स ओनली टीयर वन सफर्ड इन टीयर वन सफर्ड बिकॉज देयर जी एन पी ए एंड एन एन पी ए बिकेम वर्स दैट मेक्स दिस स्टेटमेंट रॉन्ग हियर बिकॉज देर वॉज नो इम्प्रूवमेंट बट द कंडीशन बिकेम वर्स सो फोर्थ स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग Now PCR showed improvement across all tiers of UCBs. So here all tiers are mentioned. That means from one tier to four tier, and this statement is correct. Okay, that makes E correct answer for ninth question. Okay. Now moving on to tenth question. So this question says which regulatory body introduced a new global standard in twenty twenty four to support the orderly resolution of central counter parties. so this is a factual question so we need to remember it's it is financial stability board so financial stability board introduced a new global standard in 2024 to support orderly resolution of central counter parties okay now next question as of march 2024 what are the significant developments reported in the ifsc based on the information given so first is the total asset size of ifsc banking units stood at this much with cumulative transactions exceeding this much second is the cumulative non deliverable forwards booked reach uh, booked reached this much amount third is five entities were registered as bullion trading members and six as bullion trading and clearing members okay fourth statement is the turnover on all on the india iibx for gold and silver is this much and that much so in this question all the statements are correct so uh, i think we have discussed all the points regarding to the report that is fsr okay that's all for this session thank you and have a nice day